We are back for episode 76 of the McBeef Banquet Podcast. Indeed. My name is Henny G. This is my buddy, Miles B. And we watched Fletch. Fletch, that's what I forgot. 1985, 86, something like that. Something starring Chevy like Chase, uh, Gina Davis. Who else is in it? Those are the big names I know. Barbara Stanwyck. Barbara Streisand, yep. No, Alan Stanwyck was his name though, right? No, Barbara Stanwyck was the... What? Right? No, I don't think so. Was the wife, wasn't she? Was she? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, 1985, right. Gail Stanwyck. Yes. There, there were a lot of Stanwicks, though. Alan Stanwyck. Just, Tim Matheson was Alan Stanwyck. There Dana we go. Wheeler something. Who was the, the, the uh, police chief? Uh, Joe Don Baker. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, R- Richard Libertini was uh, Frank w- Walker, who was, I think, the boss. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are kind of the biggest names. Yeah. But, um, Larry Jenkins. It was really good. Uh, I really liked the, the snappy dialogue, the quips that he would make. Well, it's it's a classic Chevy Chevy Chase. Right. Not, a co- lot, not classic, a lot of that but... Stuff is pretty... Yeah, is like that kind of... Yeah. Especially Spies Like Us or... Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Spies Like Us. Yeah, that's the, the biggest one. Um, or his, his the National Lampoon movies. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, like right, that. yeah. Where he's just kind of like tries his best to like roll, you know, roll with the punches, mm-hmm. stay on the ball or whatever. And it's like, um, like what was the line, um, where he was talking to um, Alan Stanwyck's parents, and they, what, what did they ask him? He, they, he's like, I'm trying to quit. Because they were talking about like getting married or something. Mm-hmm. I think. I don't remember. <laughs> um, oh, it's something with like the reception or something. Oh, oh, I I'm think it's like, are you, were you at the reception? No, no, I'm trying to quit or something like that. No. I was, I was actually confused by that. I didn't yeah. know what he meant. I don't. Know, I think it's just a random line, just to be yeah. like silly. Like it was like yeah. my, something my dad would say because he'd always be like, um, the um, like, uh, hey, you want you want a bottle of water? And he'll be like, no thanks, I got to drive later. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it just make it sound silly. <laughs> um, so that's, yeah, that kind of was funny because I kind of grew up with that kind of humor, so I enjoyed that. Um, but it was pretty good. Yeah. Overall, I think even the story too, which I mean, is definitely familiar. <laughs> We've kind of heard similar stories, I guess, but like it was, yeah. it was still, it was a good premise for a comedy, mm-hmm. I think. And it worked really well. Yeah. Especially all, uh, I, I think the, one of the strongest bits was the like whole like name bit where you just kept going throughout the movie. Oh yeah. Up with different names. Very, and, like, uh, psych. And there, were only, and there were a couple even that reacted to it too. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure that's where psych got it from. Probably. Um, Fletch. Because when did Psych come out? That was... Psych came out was 2006. Yeah, 2000. So, um, yeah. And, and that makes sense, too, because, like, it's also, like, a cop, you know, yeah. dealing with cops and stuff. And so, and investigations. <laughs> and they make a lot of references stuff. to an older films. Right. So, that so. Mi- that, this definitely might have been where they got it from. Yeah. What was interesting, and I'm, I'm surprised they didn't do more with, was um, Gina Davis, because she and Fletch oh, yeah. seemed to be having a thing, but then, other than, like, that one sort of, like, kind of, she was kind of doing, like, she some of the performance back. where she's, like, you know, looking at um, oh, yeah. Alan's wife, fa- wife, I guess I should say, yeah. um, at the end, but then they just go off to, uh, what was it, Rio, and then, yeah. then you just don't. Her name was Larry? I know, yeah, yeah. Larry. Yeah. Yo, Larry, what's going on? <laughs> weird. Um, well, yeah, that was weird. So then, but yeah, and then they just never did anything with that, which I was mm-hmm. expecting that to play a little bit more. Felt, of a, yeah, definitely underused. Like maybe some sort of bit where you <clears throat> know, we're like Underhill, am I right? Where he's like, oh ho ha, oh ho, Miles, that's pretty. Oh my waveform, so fuck. Um, <laughs> I was gonna do like a little bit where I just kept laughing, but then yeah. it was like fucky, fucky, fuck you. Um. Yeah, but maybe, like, some sort of scene where, like, I don't know, he's trying to get Larry to help him and she doesn't or something, because, mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, they could have done something with it, but, uh, so I was surprised that they didn't. Maybe yeah. That might be, like, one thing I'd or say. Or used, but... you could have used her as a, um, as a, as a helpful character for his disguise. Right. Like a wife or something. Right, yeah. Like a fake wife. Yeah. Um, that would have been good. But I guess it makes sense, too, because she's kind of fine to, like, working at the paper. So yeah. she's not going to be in the story much anyway. But I don't know. There could have been something, maybe. Um, other than that, no, I thought it was a really good story, and I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of the acting was pretty solid all, all the way around. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think if there's any moments, other moments that stood out. By the way, it doesn't look like Gina Davis is in the sequel. Oh, okay. 
Just saying. Good to know. So I'm get. I was hoping they like kind of built on that and had Gina Davis and maybe they showed maybe, her more. Maybe but, there's something more. Yeah, but, but nope. Um, they were just like, nah, we're scrapping your character. Frank Walker looks like him and um, uh, Chevy Chase are the only two that actually make it into the second one. Okay. Just saying. Good to know. I'll I'll, I'll make sure to keep that in mind when I'm watching the second one. <laughs> Where's Gina? Oh, like, and Underhill, apparently. What the fuck? Like, there's, like, no one in it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess it's spoilers. Um, but, yeah. yes, I think we need to concern ourselves with for now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, Mo? Um. Yeah, it was funny. Uh, I wouldn't say any shots were particularly stand out. Yeah, I don't, don't think... It, yeah, it didn't seem like it. Um, which, I mean, is usually the case. I feel like it's rare for, like, a comedy to win Best Cinematography. Yeah. it's It just doesn't... There's no need for it unless you're trying to use it to... Maybe, like, an, like an absurd thing. Mm-hmm. Or going over the top with it, kind of. Oh, yeah, being... To establish, like, lighting and stuff like that. But, like, otherwise the shots aren't going to be that, like, striking, I feel like, most of the time. There's probably been a couple that have broken that mold. But, I don't know. That, yeah. I, so, that's I guess that's pretty common. But, either way... um the did you have a favorite scene hmm <clears throat> um there were a lot of like wacky little situations he was in. yeah the, the car chase was kind of fun because it was like him and this other guy who ended up stealing apparently stole the vehicle or something yeah, in the first place and yeah. yeah and then um he was talking he was talking about the guy in the motorcycle he's like yeah that's fred or whatever and you know he's just coming up with <laughs> stuff off the top of his head and then there was the, along with that, there was the scene in the little, uh, like, veteran's room or whatever. Where oh, he yeah. Stole the mic and was, you know, he got out yeah. that way. and Like, some of the jokes do land and some of them don't. That's true. And it was, like, like what we were talking about where, you're like, I make a lot of jokes and you don't make as many, but they might be better quality because it's, like, you got to find the right timing. Yeah. For, like, and that's <laughs> that's one thing that's also hard about comedies. Like, you got to mm-hmm. find the right, like, joke, joke per minute, like, mm-hmm. ratio. Yeah. In order to, to really, like... Like, especially with, with the podcast, I think I joke less. Yeah. But it's also good to have a straight man, you know? Right. Um, don't make the joke. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I was going to, I was like, there's, that's not funny. That's not, there's not, there's not, I mean, it's right, it's right, it's right. It's also me. unoriginal. I don't, do it. I don't know. <laughs> it's too easy, you know? Yeah, I mean? exactly. Like me. <laughs> that was perfect. Um, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> just the the waveform just there's oh like, yeah <laughs> it's just Absolute so quiet silence. um <laughs> but no yeah i recommend it i think it was very fun very fun movie even mm-hmm. if you're not much of a movie person it's funny mm-hmm. especially if, if it's like if you know. like especially if you like a lot of chevy chase's older films like oh, yeah. any of the national lampoon movies spies like us which we recommend spies, yes. spies like us yes it's very fucking very funny movie. yeah oh, yeah so many good moments. Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase yeah. act, acting together. Yeah, when they're together, yeah, that was that was very fun. Very fun to watch, you know. Mm-hmm. Those two together. <laughs> That's hot. I know. It was it was it was amazing. <laughs> very amazing. Um did you watch anything this week? Um I'm trying to think if there's anything. Not really. Um No, actually, yeah, I guess that's it. Okay. Uh, no, unless we wa- no, we didn't watch anything. We watched the boys. Oh yeah, no, we did watch the boys. Yes. Um, For the first step. Ep- yeah, episode, the first episode, yeah. which was think? good. What'd you think? I haven't seen because I haven't seen the boys. In case anyone doesn't know. Yeah, that. I've seen um, the first season, but I don't remember much of it. So. And it was good. No, it was. I liked it uh, <clears> so far. <throat> Obviously, I was. I was really looking forward to um, Carl Urban as Billy Butcher. Mm-hmm. I heard good things, and I, I like the sound of the character too. Mm-hmm. I just. I think it's fun, especially finding out like when you find out in the first episode that he's not actually with the FBI. Which, yeah, you know, he's just kind of like and when the car comes, you know. Smashing yeah, it's a fucking great window. moment. I didn't expect to hear that. I was that, fucking that. waiting. I was I was like waiting for your reaction. I'm like, oh, this part's good. I can't wait to see what yeah. he says. I was I didn't expect to hear the invisible cut line as soon mm-hmm. as soon as it did, but it was, <laughs> you expected it later. Yeah, I wasn't sure when it was coming, but I was like waiting for that. That's like the only line I knew from the show. Mm-hmm. Like just because I see it, saw it in memes mm-hmm. a bunch for a while. Yeah. And I was like, I want, I want to hear a, what it sounds like when he actually says it. <laughs> <laughs> um, especially with his accent. Would, mm-hmm. Aussie? British? I, Aussie, I think, right? Uh, I think Australian Something is like what that. he's going for. Yeah. Um, he's, is, he, he's American, right? I think Carl Urban is. Um, 
What I don't know is Billy Butcher. I don't remember Billy Butcher being Australian in the comics because I have read um, like 20 issues of it. I haven't read the whole series, but... Because you had too many issues? Yeah. With the what comics? What about the Carl That's what I was doing. I bet you I can't look it up faster. New Zealand actor. A New Zealand actor. I just saw it first. I didn't say it in time, though. Um, yes, so he is from New Zealand. Okay. You haven't seen Ghost Ship, have you? Go Ship? Ghost Ship. Ghost it was one of his Shoots. first roles. It was like he was doing somersaults. Yeah. I didn't take me a second to get what you meant. Um, no, it was uh, Ghost Ship was his first uh, Hollywood role. I have not. It's an, it's an interesting film to say the least. Okay. I'll have to check it out. It's one of the first horror movies I ever watched. As a baby? Yeah, probably. 2002? I mean, maybe. Poltergeist was also one of the first ones. Poltergeist, I yeah. It was a good and one. They both kind of. Poltergeist, I remember being scarier, but I don't even. I don't know. I watched. Um, what did I watch? I watched uh, American Beauty. Mm-hmm. Again, right? Because you'd yeah, seen that before. It, it, yeah, it had been. This was the second, second time I watched it. Mm hmm. Um, or maybe even the third, I don't remember, yeah. but it's a really good movie. Did you notice anything different that you didn't notice like the first time around? Yeah, I think, uh, definitely. I just can't think of examples, but I definitely did. I know that because I'm obviously more well, I'm like, guessing more, you, you don't want to spoil them too much yeah, either. Yeah, that too, but yeah. I'm also more attentive to like I seen it. cinema stuff. Yeah. Um, behind the scenes. Aesthetics. Things. Yeah. yeah. Um. The whole nine yards. And I, I regardless of anything with kevin spacey i still you know i find it an enjoyable film i I think when it comes to like films i can separate the art from the artist mm-hmm. um because the movie itself is just really good yeah um i also watched uh, the cable guy with jim carrey and uh, what's his name matthew broderick did you like it i've seen it or you've seen it as well that. um do you like it a second time or hated the I second liked time. it more the, the second beginning. time I oh. watched it because the first time I watched it, I was really young and didn't quite understand everything that was happening, I think. Um, but I think now I understood it a bit better, what was going on and like the plot. Um, I also watched Ratatouille. This was the second time I watched it. Enjoyed it more, obviously. Um, I think that was it. Good to know. Oh, It. I also watched the fir- both It films. The re- the recent ones. I'm planning on rewatching the Tim Curry one as well, just to. Yeah, I kind of want to watch that one too. Actually, have you not seen it? I uh, no, I have, but I got I, again. I mean, I do. Yeah. Like, especially because we uh, after seeing um, it chapter one, I never did get to watch this chapter two. You can borrow it if you. But want. um, but at least the new one. Um, yeah. But yeah, I've seen both of the the part one and part two of the uh, the original one. The original. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? You? What is that? Yeah, it's my Apple Watch. Oh, okay. As as me Apple Watch. Oh, yeah. Um, nothing important. Your jogging session. Nobody important. Oh, thought it was your reminder to do your jogging session. <laughs> it was, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back. Actually, uh, <laughs> I I have to keep to a very rigid rigid uh, <laughs> schedule. I get it, dude. Yeah, that was but, funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. It was good. Mm-hmm. Yes. Anyway, uh, what were we talking? You were about? talking about it. It. Yeah, the ducking session. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Um, so, but yeah, no. Um, so you've and seen I, you've seen Tim Curry, the, the both, fir- both and then Tim Curry, the version. first of the new ones. Yeah. So like, um, Bill Skarsgård, I guess you could call it. Do you like which do you like better? I I, I was always a fan of the original. I mean, obviously I, some of the visual stuff was better. Yeah, than I think um, the new one, but the first one of the new one of the Bill Skarsgård is what I'll call it. Um, of the first one of of that is better than the tim curry but tim curry version both of them is better than overall the new than one the new ones overall yeah kind of. no i or at least i'm the saying second part the second one okay. of the new one Chapter yeah I, I yeah because i did like the first one i remember liking because i saw uh the first of the new ones in theaters yeah that one is I liked it. so good yeah. i enjoyed it i saw that one at the state theater because i didn't get to see it in theaters but i saw yeah. it when it came out later um well part of that for me too was just like the fact that i don't know i like that the first half of the, I guess, the story better anyway, because I feel like I don't know. Yeah, it's um, so. I yeah. There's something about it. I it, agree. Because it's also like that eighties nostalgia it was alone, thing yeah. too. To it, and that's just kind of fun. Um, mm-hmm. And so the second, 
half of it, or the second part two, whatever you want to call yeah. it, is like it's an. I don't like it. I don't know. I guess feel like it's it kind of ruins clunkier. the first and part. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Um, because it's it for me. It's like I kind of wish Pennywise was just a creepy clown and nothing more, and yeah. not like this otherworldly alien. You know. Okay. Because that's what he is. Yeah. Yeah. He's I like mean, this, and I just feel like that's not needed for right. the story. Um, but they have to give him a reason, I guess, for existing. Right. Um, well, would you be, I don't know, because, like, because doesn't he do, like, some, like, because he does some, I don't know, weird, unnatural stuff. He can transform stuff. into things. He can yeah. make people see things. I feel Which like that's okay. I, I feel like you could do it without having an explanation for it. Oh, and okay. And just him being, like, this, like, other It's like world, a mystery. Yeah, it. like, so he's, he's a, just a being. We don't, ex- who, yeah, we don't want the explanation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, um, I, I, that's how I wish it was. Okay. Yeah, for sure. I was just curious. Have mm-hmm. you read the book at all? No. Okay. I, I was curious to maybe check it's out the book. It's thick. It's fucking it's, thick. It's dummy thick. And it's got that scene in it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, that I don't know why they didn't include in the movies. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense, you know? I don't know why they didn't, yeah. It, it would be so perfect if for, you know... You know what I'm talking to about, show right? to, Yeah, no. Okay. It would be so great to show to audiences. Mm-hmm. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, yeah, that that was all I watched this so, week. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, well, yeah. that's that. Um, so yeah, check out. You want to know what movie and... we're watching? Yeah. What's what are we watching next week? Mel? So I've seen this before, but I really want you to see it because it's a good movie. Um, it is called Harold and Maude. Mm-hmm. It is on Prime. Bet. Came out in 1971. Good. Good. Um. And personally, one of the best parts, not not the only part, but one of the best parts is the soundtrack for it. The music score for this is just perfect. Awesome. Let's check uh, it out. Um, and it's actually a pretty funny film as well. So we'll we'll I think we'll get a kick out of it. It's pretty enjoyable. yeah, very good. Um, that is something we don't. I feel like we don't talk about too much is the music. Yeah, or I feel like I it know. definitely goes on. You know, it 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 unnoticed a lot of the time. Yeah, it takes it. T- it's it's impressive when it's like really like mm-hmm. something like audiences will talk about. Yeah. I feel like because it's like such a underrated part of like the I know a- the whole aspect. Yeah, like um, unless it's something like Baby Driver, you know, where like oh, you, Baby Driver is perfect for that because like because um, it's literally soundtrack. plays so much of a part in the story too. Yeah. So it's and like, um, another one that was Suicide Squad had a really good soundtrack, but a lot true. of the songs on the soundtrack weren't even in the film because um, it was like music inspired by the movie, right? Or or like uh, Spider Verse. Was that was a good? Yeah, that, that had, was like, that was another of, one too. Um, uh, that had like a set style that goes well with the animation and everything, mm-hmm. and the style of movie it was. So yeah. Um, but it's, and that's the thing too, because it's like if it's like a f- score, that's different than like score is like a soundtrack. Yeah, because you know, it's like because score is just like music made for, for the, movie. the movie. Yeah, and it's just all like orchestral. Yeah. But yeah, this is a really good soundtrack, and I've listened to it many times. Absolutely, because <laughs> it's so good. Um, and hopefully you will too, because it's enjoyable. Yeah. Um, so yeah, check it out on Prime. I think it's mm-hmm. only on Prime. Yeah. For free anyway, or right. not free, but available free. for free. Free. <laughs> no, stop. Yeah, I know. I hate that. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um, so watch it on Amazon Prime. Yeah, it's next week. Yeah. Bye bye. I love you. You asshole. She wasn't saying you did this. She was saying you did this. I just almost unplugged the mic. Stop! Don't do it, Miles! Stop! See, it's funny because we're going to stop. I apparently am not. Okay, but seriously though, like, how do you how do you turn this off? There's no, like, button or anything. Is there a switch under? Button?